if they're going to basically uh, retire the stock those are transactions we want to keep aware of or be aware of within the auditing process and the payment of dividends both cash and stock dividends so the dividend payments something that we want to consider with relation to stockholders equity of course the dividends payment being the payment back uh, kind of similar to a draw for a sole proprietor of the earnings so the dividends can be in the form of cash probably a more straightforward thing to audit or will be pretty much a more straightforward thing to audit stock dividends going to be a little bit more complex to audit uh control risk assessment so we're now we're going to consider the control risk with relation to stockholders equity a substantive strategy is generally used to audit stockholders equity because the number of transactions is usually small and the value is often large so in other words once again we typically will be using a substantive strategy why because just like it's kind of like with the fixed asset type of account uh, if we buy things like property plants and equipment there's a, not a whole 